salutations, and welcome to the first edition of Real Talk. I'm your host, Deuce Dollar, and I'll be bringing you the best and the worst of movies, music, and sometimes video games. You know what grinds my gears? It's the movie Street Fighter 1. This movie is a fucking piece of shit. This movie sucks ass, not just regular ass. I mean like an elephant's ass. This movie sucks ass big time. But I'm not just gonna tell you that. I'm gonna break it down. See, this movie's been reviewed before, but I don't think it was properly done. You know, they hit all the right areas. I'm gonna break it down to exactly why this movie sucks so bad. So sit back and listen. You did. Now, just to put it in perspective of just how disappointing it was to watch this movie. Let me take you back to the early 90s and late 80s. This is around the time when video game arcades were still popular. This is a time when video games weren't as accessible as they were now. There was no such thing as the PlayStation 2, 1, Xbox, or even a Sega Genesis. So the only way kids could play video games is to go to a video game arcade. One of the most popular genres of the time were fighting games. The first Street Fighter wasn't all that great. It came out in arcades in 1987. It was a decent game for what it was. I mean, the controls were a little hard to do because the movement was so stiff. But overall, it was good for the time. Though it wasn't that successful, Capcom took the initiative to fix everything that was wrong with the game and came out with a sequel in 1992, Street Fighter 2. This game was the fucking shit. I mean, besides Mortal Kombat, it was the most popular fighting game in the 90s. And it went on to have various sequels such as Super Street Fighter 2, and Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Of course, major movie companies jumped at the chance to capitalize off of the franchise. So in 1993, Universal Pictures bought the rights to Capcom and negotiated a deal to make a movie. Now, I was nine years old when this shit came out. I mean, you don't understand the impact this motherfucking game had on my life. I mean, I took fucking karate, me and my best friend went as Ken and Ryu for Halloween. I painted my hair all fucking gold and shit, man. I was a street fighter freak. I was a game fucking fanatic, man. It was everything. I used to go fucking to the video arcades and spend all my motherfucking money. I mean, shit, I even convinced my mom to buy me Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And at the time, this game was motherfucking $70. $70? They don't even make games on Xbox 360 for that much. And this shit was fucking $70 for the Super Nintendo? You damn right. And I paid for it. But anyways... That's just show you how hyped I was about this movie. Everybody was. Then I heard Jean-Claude Van Damme was playing Guy. Okay, I mean, Jean-Claude Van Damme has a heavy Belgium accent or wherever the fuck he's from. But anyways, he was a pretty big action star in America at that time. So, I thought it would be alright. But was it? Fuck no. This movie was a total bag of shit. This movie was the biggest piece of bullshit in the history of cows or feces. So, why, you ask, did this movie suck so bad? Well, for starters, let's look at the plot. This movie in no way resembles the game. I remember the characters from the game. You know, you had everybody, the original six characters, and then, of course, they came on and brought the Turbo people. They added four more people, and then they brought the Super Street Fighter people, which added four more people. But this movie fucked all the characters up. They had Chun-Li, Barog, and motherfucking E. Honda all on the same side. And they got them news reporters or some shit. That shit wasn't true. I don't remember that. Then they had Colonel Guy in some military organization called the AN. I could have sworn he was in the Air Force. What the fuck does AN stand for anyway? Ass Navigators? Anyway, he's after Bison to get revenge for his best friend Charlie, who Bison turned into Blanco. Wait a second. Charlie is Blanca? That's right, this Street Fighter movie merged two characters together. How the fuck can Charlie be Blanca when Charlie is from the US and Blanca is from fucking Brazil? Everybody know Blanca from Brazil. Anyways, another thing that blowed my scrotum is that why is Gal the main character? If anybody, it should have been Ryu or Chun-Li. I mean, because Ryu was the main character in the first game and he won the first tournament. Since this is the first movie, it would make sense. Or even Chun-Li, cause Bison came to her village and killed the fuck out of her daddy. Now this was a mistake, because everybody know that Ken and Ryu are everybody's favorite character off-gate. And third in line would probably be Gal. Third in line. 
So why would the third ranked character be the main character in the movie? It don't make no sense. Think about it.